what's going on guys so i recently heard the news and as a matter of fact this piece of news came to me via my sister so shout out to my sister for letting me know what's going on so these youtubers with 1.2 million subscribers a youtube channel called nikki philippi extremely irrelevant by the way a million subscribers and look at the views they're getting if you thought sensitive society was irrelevant <laughs> just check this out these people have a million subscribers what i am here to talk about is these people killing their dog profiting off it taking photos with him before putting him down in a nutshell killing a pet for clout and the reason why they put him down is the stupidest reason i've ever seen in my life am i the biggest fan of animals absolutely not i'm not a big fan of animals overall but i will never ever ever kill a dog and say you know what i'm kind of irrelevant let me just kill a dog and let me get some interaction again i mean let's just get into this article so it says family vloggers euthanize their dog prompting collective why something that i absolutely love is that in the thumbnail they post i mean look at the title we have some really sad news and then we have them looking all sad and depressed and you're expecting oh maybe their fucking baby died uh, maybe this happened but no it's just a 24 minute video just to find their actions telling the anime backstory of oh the dog you know he's been bad for a few years teach him you have money if you're smart if you didn't blow it like a fucking idiot you have money teach him the saying that goes you can't teach old dogs new tricks is absolutely bs look it up if you don't believe me is it harder 100 but can you do it absolutely i mean just think this thumbnail pisses me off they had to post for this and if they didn't post for it they had to see the full video say oh man what's the saddest picture what's the saddest frame in this video take a picture of that add it to photoshop export it and put it as their thumbnail it's pathetic if you think they feel bad you're wrong. These people don't feel bad for doing this. So anyway, the article says, There's only one thing that could get the internet this riled up. Dogs. YouTubers Nikki and Dem Philippine revealed they euthanized their 9-year-old bull terrorizer, Bowser. In a YouTube video on Monday after the incident in which he bit their 1-year-old son, Logan, the dog reacted to Logan taking food from him. Let me just stop you right there. This is common sense. I want to ask a question here. Where the fuck were they? Were they filming their morning routine? Their night routine? Where were the parents? I love how these parents are just blaming the dog, automatically killing him. But where were you? You're a parent. What is your job? Your job is to fucking parent and teach your kids what to do, what not to do. Especially when they're little, you're supposed to keep an eye on him, right? If I had a kid, I would never leave my kid alone with a dog, no matter how nice people tell me it is. No matter if the dog has been loyal to me for 10 years and he's the nicest dog alive. I will not leave my kid with him. It's common sense. It's a fucking animal. If it feels threatened, it's going to attack you. No shit. I legitimately cannot believe people, people like them exist. They're fucking morons. They're horrible parents from what I could tell. How do you not supervise your kid? And it gets worse. The dog reacted to Logan taking food from him, which is something they teach you when you're a fucking baby. Don't mess with a dog when it's eating. No matter how loyal it is, no matter what. They want to eat. They don't want some fucking one-year-old pulling their fucking food, pulling their tail, kicking them, poking their eyes. Because apparently the kid did poke the dog's eyes. Where's that energy at? Will you put your son down? <laughs> <laughs> I know I know it's not a good comparison, but I'm just saying, what a fucking shitty family. The couple said, but the injury wasn't bad, and their son had a little mark. You would think, oh my god, you know, the dog ripped, I don't know, a finger off, or poked his eye out, or uh, I don't know, a, a huge bite that almost killed him, right? No, according to them, it was just a little scratch. You know, they either wanted to get rid of the dog, or they were like, holy shit, we're irrelevant. Oh my god, what do we do? What do we do? Do we keep grinding? Do we make better content? Do we switch our content? What to do? Or, or we could just kill a dog, find any excuse to put him down, get the internet to talk about us again. Yeah, I think that's what we should do, honestly. What the dad says next is so fucking disgusting. It legitimately made me want to reach out, you know, put my hand through my laptop, pull him out, and have a boxing match with him. Because after this, you cannot tell me the parents didn't want to put him down from the beginning. And in the moment, I'm thinking... You know, I grew up with the movie Old Yeller, and I wanted to pick Bowser up by the back of the neck and take him into the backyard and put him down right there. BS excuse. These people are fucking pathetic. And <laughs> I know I keep saying it keeps getting worse. You weren't protecting your kid. Where were you at when this happened? As a 22-year-old, I have common sense, and I will not leave my cousin with my dog by itself. I don't care if I grew up with that dog, if I love that dog. I am not leaving a child, not even two seconds alone with them, because I know what could happen. And I think some people miss the point here. Some animals are simply not home animals. They're supposed to be in the wild. Adding that Bowser had injured other dogs in the past, they claimed that Humane Society told them rehoming would be impossible. And this is the worst part. This 
this person posted pictures of their dog before killing him. They were like, you know what? We're gonna kill you anyways. Grab the fucking dog. Let's just take a few pictures with it. Let's just kill him afterwards, but we gotta get some likes. And the funny part is they've gone private. <laughs> They're getting so much shit and rightfully so. They don't feel bad at all. They disabled the likes and dislikes. They turned off comments because they were getting so much shit. And once again, rightfully so. Like you could have done so much things. You could have given him away. You could have trained him. Once again, you can. C-A-N, you can teach old dogs new tricks. Or how about this? You should have been a good parent and I don't know, teach your kid what to do, what not to do, or just be there. Instead of filming your retarded fucking videos, you should have been there. Cloud chasing at its finest, am I right? Then I found this tweet that says, how sick do you have to be to take a photo shoot with your dangerously aggressive dog? Yeah, I mean, look at these pictures. I mean, does he look aggressive? Especially this douchebag. I mean, the dad. I mean, the dog could reach out and rip his nose, right? And it's hilarious that this is the same guy who said he wanted to take the dog by its neck, throw him on the floor, and shoot him with a shotgun in the shed. Right here, he's extremely happy, right? What a bunch of fucking hypocrites. They deserve all the hate in the world. I 100% I, I believe that. Your dog is so aggressive by having no issues putting the baby next to it for a cure ill pre murder photo shoot. Look at this. I mean, the baby's super close. And look at this. And. In the moment, I'm thinking, you know, I grew up with the movie Old Yeller, and I wanted to pick Bowser up by the back of the neck and take him into the backyard and put him down right there. This person said his face. So many people would have taken this dog. These fuckers are sick. They're trash. 100% agree, dude. 1 billion percent. <laughs> All right, guys, that's about it. I just really wanted to talk about this. This is not okay. I think anyone who isn't stupid could see how bad this is. Once again, there's so many options you can do. New day, new trash, trash family vlogger. Yeah, enjoy your five seconds of relevance here. All right, guys, love you.